<clears throat> All right, so today, what are we doing today? So today, we're not hunting. Sunday. Can't hunt in Pennsylvania on Sundays. Or Sundays in Pennsylvania. So today, it's the old harvest right. Got her fired up. Uh, let's see. Got to turn the drain off. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, we are going to freeze dry applesauce. All right, so uh, we only have a few of these apples left. These were our apples. I don't spray them. I don't do anything to them. So the bad ones, they go to the deer. I have some more over there. Uh, and soon as, uh, as soon as this applesauce is done, which should be done tomorrow, tomorrow morning sometime, we are going to freeze dry all these bananas. So, living the prep life. All right, so here we go. So the wife told me four and she got a little uh well things are busy so we are doing the old uh skin ons which is pretty good. Pretty good. Even with the skins. Not bad and good for you. This applesauce is mainly just apples and cinnamon. Uh, there's little to no sugar in this whatsoever. Sugar's poison, people. Stay away from it. It's like a hundred or some ridiculous amount more addictive than cocaine. Eliminate all that processed sugar out of your diet. You'll find out how much better you feel, how much weight you'll lose. It's amazing. Amazing. So I got a new camera coming. Because everybody that I post the videos to bitching which my camera doesn't this little sports camera doesn't zoom and it really picks up when you touch the camera so okay just about got it All right, I should do it. Okay, so there they all are in there. Um, so now what we're going to do is you got to put the little insulator in here. Hold on, gotta, yeah, I can do this one. I can do it one-handed, right? Sure. Kind of push that in so that the door seals to the rubber. Lock her down. And then we hit start. Um, Non-liquid, I don't know, it's pretty much in between, huh? But we'll do non-liquid. Not frozen. Continue. That's it. That's how you freeze dry. And you do the same thing with uh, bananas, anything you have, you can do. You can cook meals, 
stick them in there. You know, a couple and a day or so, they're all done. So, all right, yeah. So there it is. She's running. It'll turn the pump on when it's ready. Does it all itself. And uh, then you can have applesauce as a snack or whatever, whenever you need it. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> this is our operation that's not in operation right now because of uh, the COVID lockdowns. All our customers are shut down the restaurants. So this is where all the bags go that are uh, spawned. They sit in here and and colonize and then after depending on the mushroom two to six weeks they go in here and then uh, if you see down there at the end they have fans and they have misters on them and I have fans, the, the misters come on and the fans come on at the same time. And they'll miss for three minutes, then shut off for 40 minutes. Um, I have a little 1,000 PSI pump out there that puts it through these nozzles. So, and then up there normally would be a 800 cubic feet per minute fan that sucks all the air out of here. Because uh, of all the uh, spores that it releases. So you can't have spores in your house. So this keeps us, uh, draws the air in from the basement into here and then outside. Kenzie, let's go. Come on. Let's go. So yeah, that's the grow room. Funny little fact, here's the mass we use, N95 mass. Now these masks will keep you from getting spore lung. You go in there and you breathe all that stuff and after a while you'll start coughing like you have a cold and uh, that's from breathing all the spores. Now, we weren't even able to get these things when it first started because they everybody was buying them up. So these things here, will not uh, filter out a virus. So just think of that next time you're wearing one of them stupid paper masks. If I wore a paper mask in that grow room all the time, I would have spore lung and be in the hospital. Uh, let's see, I'll show you over here. There's my buddy Ruger. He's not real happy. He just got nutted. So here I have a, uh, a spa, a steamer, which produces steam. So what happens is we put the bags in here, and so they got wood and soybean in them in a special bag, and they get rolled in here in carts. And then this thing, you lock it all up and you pump this thing full of steam and you raise those bags to 180 degrees and you keep them there for eight hours. And that sterilizes the bags, kills all the bacteria that's in there. And then when you do that, if you come out of there, come on, let's go dog. Kind of showing you know, this stuff out of order. It doesn't matter. And it comes into this clean room. So the clean room is filtered air comes through there and it's pushed out. So it's positive, positive pressure. The grow room is negative pressure. So what happens is we come in here. You turn this on. This is a HEPA filter. The giant ass HEPA filter like what they use in hospitals and, and it blows sterile air onto here and you'll take the bag I don't have any made up because we're shut down by the tyrant wolf 
and you put the bag underneath here, you open that sterile bag up, and then you'll have a bag of mushroom spawn, and you put a scoop in, then you just slide it over while it's still under, and you hit the button here, and this thing seals it. It's a uh, very expensive impulse sealer. <laughs> so, and then once that happens, it gets marked what it is and the date it was done, and then it goes outside to the... Uh, where it colonizes. Let's go. What are you two idiots doing? And then lastly, which is the first thing actually, is this is our bagger. This is uh, a homemade design. <laughs> so basically how it works is you put wood, hardwood pellets in here and you put your soy pellets in here. Soy holes. And then this is your water controller. It puts in an exact amount of water into... Hold on, let me turn the light on. <clears throat> puts an exact amount of water into the bag. So what you do is, you put the bag, I put an empty bag, here's the bags. Alright, so they have a, a half a micron filter on them, so they let oxygen in, CO2 out, but not let any bacteria in. Here's like here's the wood pellets, hardwood pellets, just like you use in a hardwood pellet stove, and that's what the soy pellets look like. <clears throat> so, anyways, you put the empty bag underneath there. You hit this, you hit this button, and it starts putting water in. Puts an exact metered amount of water in, and then you hit this button, and this is air power. This is hooked up to a generator or a uh, air compressor, and it has a big ass air piston right here. And it rotate, it pushes this back and forth, and there's a hole in there. And, and this thing underneath here, this slide, has a chamber that I built for the exact amount of soy, and they're equal, they're 50-50. And so it slides over, picks up the soy, passes back, or actually, it's when it's all the way over to the left, it's already filled with wood pellets. So when you hit the button, when you hit the foot pedal here, it goes over and it drops it in this hole. So when it stops, it, it drops it in this hole and then the next chamber will be right here and it will pick up the soy. <coughs> Rona. And then once it picks up the soy, when it returns to home, that chamber is going to be right over this chute and it drops the soy in. So when you do that every time it drops the exact amount of wood and the exact amount of uh, pellets or soy in there and then with the water you just set the bag here and then we just set them up on once they and then they'll they take like a minute. Uh, they take about a minute to to swell up to absorb the water and basically you go you have a seven pound a seven pound bag so yeah and that's about it that's what you do to, to grow mushrooms well <laughs> attempt to grow mushrooms says uh, honestly you fart crossways and they won't grow they'll die so, yeah, but anyways, so there it is, and then they come out here, we roll them out here on the cart, and they get stacked out here, and then that's where we have mini splits down there, and a mini split down here, and you need to keep your, this, this area, um, 68 degrees all the time, and once you do that, if you did everything right in all those steps, and then probably the most important step in that is the steam, is you really need to get that thing sterile or it will eat you alive. They'll turn as green as that bottle of lemon juice. And that's no good. That's, that's, um, that's money down the toilet. I mean, you, you pay for a bag, 
you've paid for wood pellets, you've paid for soy pellets, uh, electricity, and then you know the fact that you've run that that steamer. That steamer runs on a 60 amp breaker, double pull breaker, so it's pulling some power, and you basically run that thing for about two days straight, non-stop. You come down here. It has a timer on it for like nine hours, so you just come down here and reset the timer. But yeah, so that's where that's how you, our mushrooms are grown. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll get back to doing it. Who knows? Uh, I feel sure that some at some point they're going to open back up. But it, you know, hell, people are so afraid of their own shadow to go out and do anything. They're all masked up like that. I don't know what. So wearing a paper mask or something that takes a micron um, an electron microscope to see it's crazy alright people well uh, if I remember I will have a video of this coming out so you can see it and then uh, like I said we're going to do these bananas next and uh, have some bananas alright Catch you on the next one. Stay frosty.